Well, enzymes don't act in isolation. Biological catalysts are not uh, in the cell isolated from other reactions. Typically, they're part of biochemical pathways, such as the one shown here, where A is converted to B by enzyme 1, B to C by enzyme 2, C to E by enzyme 3, and so on. As molecules of E build up, it's possible that one of them might actually go back and bind to enzyme 1, changing its shape and preventing it from acting. That's called feedback inhibition, which is a very common way of regulating enzymes to control the levels of, in this case, E in a cell. So when E builds up, when the final product of this pathway builds up, very characteristically, some of those molecules go back and bind to an enzyme early in the pathway, changing its shape, thus inhibiting it. That's called feedback inhibition. It is a reversible phenomenon, so that when levels of E drop, because the cell is using it for some purpose, the E molecule that is bound to the enzyme 1 would actually come off, and then the pathway could resume at full speed. So we control enzymes by, in fact, controlling their shape, by allosteric regulation, as I indicated earlier. So here we have the enzyme and substrate, and we have an allosteric effector, which in this case is going to bind to the enzyme at a site other than the active site, but it's going to cause a change in shape at the active site, which prevents the substrate from even attaching to the enzyme. So the inactive enzyme is no longer able to bind the substrate. 